What is misogyny? Misogyny is the hatred, dislike, or mistrust of women. If misogyny is the problem, then what causes it? After careful observation, I realized that harassment is the problem. By looking at the way females are treated in society, it is evident that we, as a whole, need respect from other people, and we must learn to be respectful amongst ourselves. This is important because this determines how we feel as a whole and will be treated for generations to come. Why should I feel unsafe taking a walk down my street or going out for a bike ride for fear of being harassed? Why should my parents have doubts about letting me outside of the house for fear of me being harassed or hurt by a harasser? According to the US Department of Justice, around one in five girls are sexually victimized before the age of 18. All the perpetrators were teenagers at one point, and it is highly likely most of them started off small with catcalling. I have written letters to many feminists like Jella Biafra and Kathleen Hanna, and I have discussed with many men about feeling powerless and infuriated as a female. I have also published a small scale feminist zine about this topic. So where does harassment stem from? After more careful observation, I realized it stems from where every woman knows it stems, but continues to laugh it off and try to minimize. Media, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, anything that shows any images or words of any kind. One of the very popular things that has come out of this is the I heart boobies bracelets. Now let me tell you why I have a problem with this. My Aunt Edith, who I was very close to, died from breast cancer in 2009. Her death was devastating. Uh, having a boy wearing one of these bracelets come up to me and ask me if he can feel up my breasts to make sure I don't have breast cancer isn't funny or in any way relative to breast cancer awareness. So what if I reverse the situation? What if a man in your family had prostate cancer? What if I made bracelets that said, save the sex, or I heart balls? <laughs> well, some people may think, why not? Why not make these bracelets if they spread awareness? That's not the point. The point is that these bracelets are not popular or they're non-existent. Why do we think to over-sexualize a woman's organs before we over-sexualize a man's? Would a man feel comfortable wearing a bracelet with derogatory terms for his own organs, yet feel comfortable wearing derogatory terms for a woman's organs on his wrist. In conclusion, I'd like to say that I do believe that harassment will come to an end one day. I feel as if harassment shouldn't have to play a part in a woman's daily life. Some things you could do to help end this is speak out about your stories. Set boundaries with people. Speak about your boundaries. If you want to support breast cancer research, donate directly to a trusted organization rather than wearing bracelets with derogatory terms on them. I'd like to end with a quote by Karl Marx. Social progress can be measured by the social position of the female sex. Thank you for listening.